How's it going everybody? My name is Draconic and welcome to a brand new video. We are back on Delworth RSPS with our From Scratch series with the Deer 15 weapon. Now, of course, my usual spiels, you guys are definitely used to them by now, but you know I have to say just in case there is any new people who are coming to check out the videos. But if you're on any of the realm servers, whether it be Delworth, Apollo, Coliseum, you got Gondor, all you gotta do is call and call on YouTube. You're going to get this lovely page right here where my videos are going to be posted, Beasts, Prophets, whoever's making content on Delrith. And all you have to do is click watch. It'll open up in your URL. All you have to do is come in your in-game name, come back to Delrith, hit collect. You're going to get yourself a YouTuber's goodie bag, which has all kinds of goodies in it. Once you do that, you're also with your comment, you're contributing to the YouTube boss. Once 10 comments are put on a YouTube video, it spawns a YouTube boss. And if you come over here to Monster Drops and you type in YouTube, like so, you just got to search by monster. You're gonna get the YouTube Warrior, which has a one to one chance of another goodie bag, along with superbs, gobbles, tens, fifties, and even a hundred dollar bonds. The hundred dollar bonds and a luxurious box did get a buff in their drop rate, though, so they're a little bit more rare, but it's still pretty good for getting fifties and tens. And I figure one more thing I should probably bring up, but do you guys know I have a Discord? It's like dormant for a very long time, but we're starting to push people in there and like start our own little community in our Discord. I just want to do your generic you know community discord kind of things you know we can talk there you know we can build some bonds i like to do giveaways through there like on whatever servers you might be playing just for a place for us to hang out and just shoot some shit if you guys like to join that i'll have it down in the description down below and i'll also have it in the comments so there's no shot you can miss it but i think this is a good enough intro as is so before i waste any more of y'all's time let's just get right into the video well who would have thought you'd see me back here well unfortunately you do uh, you know, I never expected to be back at the Woodland Zone, but honestly, we're in desperate need of instant tickets so we can continue our boss progression. Making the Scratch account and starting straight from the get-go, but obviously having the perk of us having a Tier 15 weapon, has really opened my eyes. So, as a OG player, I guess you could call me. Um, obviously, you know, I thought Delworth was like this perfect place where nothing was a problem you know the server was good and like a lot of people would come into delrith and say that delrith is a very hard server to get into because it's so grindy and i was thinking in my head i'm like man like you know i'm here i did all this stuff like look what i've achieved like it's not that much of a grind like come on you can do it um so obviously with the scratch account that's really opened my eyes like i now see what they're talking about and the new player experience on delrith is terrible it, it really is i truly understand what those players meant now why they couldn't really get themselves into delrith because it's just really hard for new players obviously they've done things to counteract that right like you know they've added or they've reduced like raid requirements they've reduced mini game requirements to doing end game content which is great but the stuff that you have to do just seems like rather dated. Like with the enchanted minigame, I remember flying through that minigame, no fucking problem. But every time I go there now to grind out the hearts, dude, I just want to fucking smash my head into my desk. I just, it, it's not the same minigame that I remember doing. Like I remember like flying by it really quickly, getting to zombie invasions, and it was all uphill from there. But that minigame, holy shit. Like, I've tried to do it. It's just I can't bring myself to because it's so damn boring. Like, I would not be opposed if they just removed that from Delrith and just had people start off with zombie invasions. Like, looking back on the Delrith revamp, it's... I don't know how you would put it. I think they should have invested more energy into looking at how to onboard more people into playing Delrith. Now, they did change up the AoE, which in the beginning, I was not a big fan of. Because it was all about the rune crafting. In my eyes, like I said, as like an end game player, an OG, rune crafting is where it was at. I thought it was the most stupidest thing in the world when they decided to update AoE because there was nothing wrong with it. But after the update that they've done it to scaling now, it's honestly it was a great addition. I I quite like scaling. Like I have an AFK account that I do scaling with. Like it's a great skill. I think it was a great direction to bring AoE because they wanted it more accessible to newer players so that they could potentially sell it to endgame players to have that bit of an eco going so that early like early game players that don't really have much they could sell aoe to endgame players you know so they can always have like a constant flow of money coming in when they're going to do different kinds of shit um 
I think that's kind of backfired to a degree because people like me have an alt account that they just farm AoE on and they don't need anything from anybody else because they have an alt account that's just feeding their mate account scales. Honestly, I think what they should do to the enchanted minigame is either A, add more M NPCs to it and have it AoE. Make it so you can AoE it and you can earn the hearts rather quickly so that people can just drive through it because honestly, that minigame is going to be the fucking end for some people trying to play Delrith. And we just look at that. From all the instance pace that we just did up, we're only going to be getting like 60-ish instance tickets. And for the amount of time it took us to do those, is kind of crazy. Like, they should update this as well. They should make it so it gives you maybe 3x or even 4x uh, instance tickets per 5 paste. Because this is really slow too. With these instance tickets though, we're back in a position where we can start getting some shit done. So we'll just go to our lovely boss progression. I'm not sure what we need to be doing. 750 of any boss. So... With that being said, we're going to go to Ancient Magicians. Because with these dudes, we need their gear upgrades to upgrade from our evil. And the stat-wise is really significant. Because we are skipping the Divines. Because Divines cannot be AoE. They were like a global boss. So they're kind of no longer in existence. Unless you make the gear through creation. So we're here at Ancient Magicians. Because this is where we're going to hang out with our new instance tickets. Until we beat our progression. And then I think the first one is going to be Centristic Archers. Is the first one we'll be killing. So yeah, we'll just hang out here until we see some progress. Well, it just flew by in our chat that we did finish the 750 kills for the any boss regression. So now we're going to move it on to centristic archers. We have to do these for a thousand. So it's going to cost us a couple instance tickets, but so be it. I think we'll run out of AOE shards before that even happens. We'll just attack them like so. And they just come crawling in. This right here is what I like the most. Just relaxing, you know, doing some instances, killing bosses. If we pull any centristic pieces, yeah, they're not going to be any good for us, but they do dissolve, for I think, around 80,000 down with coins each, which is honestly pretty good in my books. So it's kind of a win-win whether we get a piece or we don't get a piece. Like I said, it's putting us towards getting our Ancient Magician gear, which uh, we're sitting on a pretty healthy cash stack right now at a measly half a mil. We could probably pick up a couple pieces ourselves, but... We'll have to check the POS to see what they're kind of going for. I know the boxes are going for around that, but then, of course, you are gambling for getting that ancient piece or not. I do apologize. We don't have very much progression to really go over. I kind of just like hit this rut right now with Delworth where I'm like, I'm unsure what to do. Because, you know, the enchanted minigame is honestly pretty cancer and I just don't want to continue it. I would like to just skip it and move on to zombie invasions, but that's clearly uh, unrealistic at this very point in time. I basically said all I really want to from like the beginning part of the video. I just think the new player experience needs to be changed. It's just it's so dated and it's so boring that I think maybe they should just like look at their early mini games, look at their early progression and try to find a way that th they can like spice it up, you know, make it more interesting. Or even like I said, to just remove enchanted mini games would be fucking huge absolutely huge and then people could just dive right into the zombie invasions start getting a decent flow of instant tickets get a decent flow of their new accessories and then they can start progressing from there but with that enchanted mini game being a gatekeep for that kind of stuff it just i understand now why delrith was always known for being a very hard server to onboard it all makes sense now after making a brand new account and experiencing everything from scratch to a degree I think I am going to leave it here for the time being, though. Just going to sit here and kill these interesting archers probably for the rest of the night. I hope to have some more progression for you guys tomorrow. Maybe we'll be killing the Ancient Magicians. Maybe we'll be doing a few other things. Um, like I said, I do apologize again for being in this rut. It's just I'm kind of ran out of like what they really do, per se, when it comes to the progression of Scratch. Unless, like, you know, stuff changes, I might just go back to playing the main account. I know uh, seeing like a different experience from like endgame shit and seeing like basically a rag to riches might be like entertaining, but fuck man, is it ever difficult, you know, but that's just all for me. You know, I appreciate you guys as always for supporting me in whatever I do and I'll see you next time. <laughs>